afternoon, Griffins. Today we're coming to you from the University of Tampa, who is kind enough to host us. In today's episode, we dive into what goes into making the community safe at Gasparilla, explore the behind the scenes of a journalist, take a look at a unique bakery, ask people their stances on self-expression, explore the beauty of outdoor art and how it can unite us all. I'm Anna Bullock. And I'm Annalise Holtz. And the and legend, legend starts, starts right now. Are you excited for Gasparilla? Yes, and I'm also excited to see the new safety measures they put in place. I'll tell you more. Gasparilla is one of the main events here in Tampa Bay. With an event as big as this, it's important that everybody stays safe. Yeah, we love Gasparilla, so it brings in hundreds of thousands of people to the city. It's the signature event of Tampa. What changes in Tampa is you'll see this influx of people who are coming to visit. They want to be part of the celebration. Gasparilla has been a huge event for Tampa residents and visitors since 1904. Due to this, law enforcement is well equipped to deal with such a large event. We used to get grabbed at, beads yanked yeah, off of us. Yank our beads, but it's been great. It's been great in the past couple years. Uh, everyone stepped up amazingly. We, we absolutely feel safe. Um, we have uh, law enforcement all up and down the street to protect us and the citizens on both sides. Um, so it's very, I feel very safe walking down. As you can see, we have plenty of officers that are here to make sure that uh, the community is safe while they're here. Gasparilla is an outlet for many to show their pirate personalities. Law enforcement plays a key role in that, making sure it is safe to do so. We, we get to be who we want to be, uh, express who we want to be. We want everybody to come down, we want everybody to enjoy themselves and express themselves how they want as long as it's safe and, and uh, everybody can have a good time. With the safety provided by our law enforcement officers, everyone at Gasparilla has a safe space to express themselves. Reporting for The Legend, I'm Anna Bullock. Journalism is a fun and creative outlet to explore more about your community. Oriana Ramos has the story. News reporter Caitlin Burning uses journalism as a medium to express herself. While being passionate about her work, she always finds a way to tell both sides of the story. With journalism, as reporters, we're the mouthpiece. We're sharing the, a lot of the views of the public and the people, how the people feel and their viewpoint on what's happening in the world. And I think that as a reporter, you just have to realize that it's not about you. It's not about what you think or how you think it should be dealt with. And I think it's always important to make sure you get both sides. So if you speak to one person who's on one side of the issue, really do your best to find the person on the other side of the issue and give them both an equal and fair opportunity to express why they feel that way and share it based off what they say and not based off what you think. While being passionate about your work is important, unbiased journalism is the key to success. Reporting for the legend, Amoriana Ramos. A bakery here in Tampa attracts many customers, but they're not what you think. I'll tell you more. Sweet Dog Bakery is home to many treats for all kinds of dogs. These treats help to showcase the dog's unique personalities. We're here at Sweet Dog. Um, it's a dog bakery and we just have a bunch of treats and, you know, dog collars and stuff for dogs. One dog in particular, Aspen, a viral social media dog, has found a love for Sweet Dog's items. Having cookies and things like that, it always brings her in to actually like want to be involved in what we're doing. So like we'll take pictures of Allie's cookies and we'll post them online or we'll use them to kind of get her to like look at the camera, all those kinds of things. The, her cookies for some reason are the only thing that actually like get her involved. Normally we do like bashi treats and stuff, but they don't keep her involved as long. So I think the stuff that we sell at Sweet Dog um, definitely helps dogs kind of get into with their own personality. She wasn't really very involved with anybody. Um, we didn't really bring her out at all. And then we found Sweet Dog through a friend of ours on social media and it's completely brought a different personality out in her. Aspen and many dogs alike have found a love for these sweet treats. Even though they may be animals, this bakery gives them a way to express their quirky traits. Reporting for The Legend, I'm Annalise Holt. Anna, what's your stance on self-expression? I don't know, I haven't really thought about it. James Bullock went out on the street and asked people what they thought. James on the street! What's up, it's James Bullock, and today we're at the start of the Gasparilla Parade and we're asking people their opinions on self-expression. One sentence or less, um, describe your views on um, self-expression. 
Uh, self-expression to me is expressing oneself. I think everyone has the right to express who they are. It makes us unique, especially in the U.S., to have individualism and not be copy and paste. Perfect. Thank you. Everybody has their own unique personality, so they should really be able to express it and be who they truly are and never have to really change that. So I think the fact that everyone is different makes them beautiful. Exactly. So, thank you so much. I like that bubbly attitude. I think that's like a really good like energy source to get draw people in and I'm attracted to that naturally as well so that's pretty good. And in one sentence or less define your views on self-expression. I would say very individualized. Um, some people like to do tattoos, hair color, music, sports. I could see it all around here today. Everyone's variety of expressing who they are which is really neat. It's all safe. Um, nobody's infringing on each other's rights or anything. It's a very cool place down here. It was great asking others their opinions on self-expression and to see these people enjoying the moment as it happens. In a community, art plays an important role in uniting us all. Especially in a large community like Tampa. James Bullock will elaborate. Local art installations here at this park in downtown Tampa, such as this one, are often overlooked with their abstract displaced qualities in a bustling urban city. But behind the scenes, messages conveyed through the universal language of art can promote unity, confidence, and expression of oneself. That right there, that monument, it says liberation, freedom. My arms outstretched that measure countless stars, my stance unmatched by even the tallest tree, judges human will and finds it free to reach aloft and spin God's cosmic wheel. Like an early morning sun, I rise up free. Well, I think the, the the trees and the shade that it provides. There's not a lot of hustle and bustle around. <laughs> People could just sit down for a minute and just relax and enjoy life instead of getting all worked up about what other people are doing. We would all be better off and that's what parks are, are good for. It looks very inspiring, um, very positive. Should be able to be comfortable. Uh, in your own skin. All in all, this often overlooked park allows these people to congregate as one under nature and sunlight, as an outlet for free expression. Under a shared space, diverse voices intertwine as a multitude of different people from different backgrounds pass through it every day. Thanks for watching, Griffins. I know I love knowing what's going on in my community. So make sure you stay updated on us by following us on Instagram and YouTube at Sickles TV. And as always, have a great day and make good choices.